Hello everybody and welcome to my Excel hack episode 16 uh, and this one is I'm really excited about uh, because I've always wanted a really effective way of doing this in a spreadsheet um, and it's not actually my own it was submitted uh, a couple of weeks ago by uh, JICBS or Jigbiz, I guess, uh, who uh, comments and uh, leaves stuff on the channel quite a lot. So, um, and I think he's been uh, featured in some of the Q and A videos with questions and stuff. But yeah, so this is a really good one. Uh, and essentially, what it does, uh, and I'll walk through the code in a second. But uh, it, whenever you change the value in a cell then it adds a comment to that cell, just records the time and date of when it was done, what it was changed to, and who did it. Uh, uh, and you, every time you change the cell, it adds a new bit into the comments, uh, uh, and it just keeps this record going of exactly what's been changed and when, which, is, in my mind, this is a really good and effective way of tracking changes. Uh, and then if you delete it, then it just changes it back to nothing. Now, if you want to get rid of that track, you can just delete the comment. Uh, so really simple and effective way uh, of kind of keeping a record of who's changing what in a spreadsheet. Uh, it stores the, so you see it's put Matthew, uh, and it's, I can't put my mouse over it, but you put, it's put Matthew there. That's because that's my computer username. Uh, uh, so what, if you're at work or something, it will take the username out of the system, and it will put it in there and store exactly who's done it. Uh, so yeah, so let's just walk through the code quickly. Uh, so it uses the worksheet change event, uh, and the first thing it does is just test whether or not more than a thousand cells are selected. Uh, and I think that's just to kind of stop it from going crazy, and if, if you change the whole sheet, it doesn't kind of, kind of uh, mess up and, and put comments all over the place. Uh, so that's a useful little feature, it just covers it off. You can reduce it if you want, so if you want it to be, so it only updates uh, if it's less than two or equal to one, so it'll only do it if it's a single cell, uh, then you can do that as well. Uh, you can also use the target to test whether or not it's in a certain column if you only want it to do store it in one column or, or, or something as well, so uh, yeah. Uh, and then uh, it goes for each single cell and target, so it's just cycling through all the cells in the in the target where you've made changes, uh, and it, it then just does an if statement to test whether or not there's a comment. If there's not a comment, it says there's a new value, uh, and if there isn't is the comment, then it just adds a new line in there and puts it in there. Uh, you can see that it's taken the value out of the target. Uh, it's this environ bracket username is what takes out the the login details. It has a smiley face. I quite like that feature. I think the smiley face is quite a nice feature. Obviously optional, and you could change the smiley face if you wanted to. Um, and then this last bit of code just tidies it up a little bit and auto sizes it so that you're able to see all the writing in it. So yeah, really good hack. Thank you for submitting. Um, if you want to check out his channel, then uh, or her channel, I guess I don't know whether it's a his or him or a her. Um, then jump onto it. It'll be in the uh, contributor section in the in the description. Uh, so uh, if you have your own Excel hacks, then uh, please submit them. Uh, and yeah, I, I really like learning new ones like this one. Uh, so thanks a lot, uh, and I will catch you soon.